Do I put got it? Yeah, I think I put got it. Yeah, we need your permission, man. You got to sign your life away for these things. Got it. I put got it. <laughs> got it. Not asking me for anything else. Uh, just your social security and all that other. Yeah, stuff. I, I, <laughs> um, all right. Uh, you know what? I had. I had your email up and I deleted it or something. Uh, let me get this back. How do I do this? Oh, maybe drafts. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, okay. So practice was pretty decent last week? Well, you, you always get distractions and then I fits and starts. And, you know, I'm, uh, I'm not as, you know, I, I, I sort of practice towards the end more than the beginning. I'm not every, not consistent every day. A lot sure. of different things going on around here. I uh, gotcha. Uh, it's, it's, yeah. How's that, uh, that new dog, right? It's kind of a new dog, well, right? No, it's a, no, it, we've had her. She's fine. I don't know where she oh, is. Oh, okay. Okay, she's in the other room. <laughs> nice. Okay, so last week we were talking about that second finger placement as a relate. Yeah, that, well, the other thing was that, that I keep moving my thumb and screwing up. The other thing, that, that still happens. I think I'm on the, I'm down here or, you know, I, I'm moving, I'm, I'm not keeping this in the right spot. It should be here. So that, that goes there and that goes there. Exactly. So that should be here, right? Like this? Yep. You see? You yep. See? Huh? Yep. And sometimes it goes up here and then I'm up here. That's that's what I was doing wrong. Yeah. I'm trying not to do that, but and I'm trying to just play through my mistakes. Awesome. Yeah, that's huge. Um yeah. Yeah. Like this. You kind of have this sometimes. Huh? Yeah, I'm up here. Yeah, yeah. I shouldn't. I should be down. Right there. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, that's good. I mean, even if your thumb is going over a little bit, that's fine. Okay. All right. Um, let's see you do one of the uh, scales, like uh, maybe the G scale. Oh. Yeah, I think we've been doing the, the G. Whole one, the, the whole, the, the, the long G? Yeah, yeah. Yes, please. Okay. Now I'm not looking at you now. Where are you? Oh, now you're back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have to know you're still there before I start playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I ain't leaving. There. I just, look, I'm going to put this on record and leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to get some coffee. I might go to Dunkin' Donuts. I don't I listen to this old fool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm paid up. I'm good. Yeah, I'm paid. I just get to take the money and run, man. <laughs> See you later. No, I'm good. Okay. I'm all ears, man. Jeez, uh, what am I doing? Oh my God, I can do this blindfold of a value. That's it. Wait a minute. Wait. Go slow. Okay. too far there that's it yeah nice okay cool um 
So when you go backwards through these scales, um, yeah, I said uh, I wanted you to play them backwards. So can you start from the highest note? Maybe this note, right? Or I'm sorry, this note, right? Yeah. And just go backwards through it. I, the, the main thing, you're missing some of the open strings, actually, sometimes. Oh, oh, that's what I'm missing, because I'm so conscious of, okay, let me try again. Yeah. Straight and then back. Uh, just go start from backwards first. Oh, this is not open first. Yes. Yeah. Yep. No, 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 no. Okay. So I, I can only go forwards and then backwards. It's like a car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's hard to just get in and go, wow. Yeah. You, okay. It's not, unless you're in a parking place. All right. Let me, let me start again. Sure. Nice. Okay. That's good. Let's hear you do it from that top note again, the going backwards from the, the high G here. Here, go and try it. Yeah. Nicely done. Yeah. So, I, yeah. How are your fingers, by the way, after doing this a few times? Do they get achy or they're pretty well? Good? The, the thing is, I have a, I'm not giving excuses, but no. I, I, I hurt my hand years ago. So th these two guys work slower. This hand's better than this hand. I got you. So I, I, it, they'll work. They'll work. I uh, just gotta keep moving them. Yeah, that's good. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think uh, for next week, just keep um, keep trying these descending, like starting, right? Because it's we're so used to going forward and then backward, like you said. Is it easier to go forward and backward? Is it starting backwards harder, right? Just backward, backward. Yeah. I, yeah, I would just do that. Just because everyone always goes forward first and they don't, you know, like you said, it was hard to go backwards at the beginning of it. Yeah, it's like, let me try one more time. It's hard. It's hard to, because you, yeah. Uh, starting with your second finger though, right? There you go. Watch that. Yeah, watch that thumb too. Where, it should be down here. Where should it be? Right here? Wait, put your finger on the second or third fret there. And then the thumb should be. Yeah, that's better. Here. Yeah, yeah. I almost saw saw it was kind of like leaning, uh, looked like it was leaning back, but that's good. This should it shouldn't be like that. It should be like this. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Yep. Oh man. I can see point. If you get if you, there you go. Yeah, try it one more time and then we'll try it like one of the other scales. Nice. 
Nice. Yeah, that's good. How about a D scale? Let's try the D scale. Uh... So just try that one backwards, starting from backwards, starting from the top note, going backwards in reverse. Yeah. That's the idea. Nice. Cool. Um, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there's less nerves, right? It's like we're just yeah, getting... a little less nerves. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're getting used to this for sure. Yeah. Cool. Um, all right, the scales are are looking good. Um, can we try one of the scales, maybe the D scale? Um, and you can play this one forwards and backwards like you usually do, but can we try it with the metronome? All right. Now I have the metronome set for something. Set for stun, right? You have it set for stun. Okay, let me, I have to get a new stand because every time I hit the stand, it, it, it uh, swivels and the book goes up. I, I have a metronome over here. Well, I don't need the, I don't need the stand. I can put the metronome. Wow. Yeah, you put it anywhere. So it's at it's at forty. No, forty four. Is that too slow? It's uh I think that's relative. I mean, if 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 you're keeping up okay. I don't know if I am or not. <laughs> well, let's let's find up? out. Yeah, let's let's figure it out. If you're making two if you're making too many mistakes, then it might be too fast. But I think I think this should be a good speed. So what am I doing now? The, G, the D scale? Yeah, let's do the D scale and then just play each note on a click. And then it's what the... Yeah, exactly. Yep, you got it. Stay on the click. I there you go. That was it. Yeah. I shouldn't look. I shouldn't look. I, at this point, if it's a scale, that's fine. You know, I mean, if you got to look at your hands a little bit, you got to look at the metronome, that's fine. I'm not looking at the, I'm listening to the metronome. Or what, okay. what are you be doing? I mean, does the, me the does the metronome have, uh, can you see something go like that or no? I, no, I can just see the dot. Oh, okay. That's fine. Then don't worry about it. I mean, so you can look at, for scales, you can look at your hands. It's just when we're doing like the note reading, I don't want you to look at your hands as much. Okay. So, all right. there you go. That's better. Good. You slow down. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, just don't forget your open notes. Right. Let's start again. I gotta look. I should be looking. Hey, uh, Frank, I got a good idea. Um, here's something we can do to kind of prime ourselves into it: is to go ahead and count with the metronome and then start playing. So you can count to four, and every count you do is on each click. This is by 44 is that a four? Is that a four speed? What what do you mean? Well, you would you would count to four because a lot of things that we play are in, in four. So like you want you want me to demonstrate really quick? Yeah.
Um, go ahead and pause your metronome just so you're not uh, hearing two metronomes at once here. All right, so if I start playing this, I'm going to get a head start by counting on each click. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. That's basically how I'd want you to do it at, at home there. Um, do you, yeah. Do you want to give that a shot? Oh yeah. So how do I know my metronome is synced right? Right. Um, so, I mean, you're just picking any click to start counting. Okay. Yeah. There's um, no, yeah, exactly. But so like but when I go to, it's already on another click. So, yeah, exactly. The idea is to match is to match the, the each number that you say is to match each number you say like directly on the click. So so without playing, you go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, right. four. And then I come in on one. Exactly, exactly. And that kind of it kind of gets you it gets your mind like in sync with the metronome. And then you're ready to just follow that better, better off. Yeah. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four, four. You don't have to, you don't have to keep counting after you start playing. Yeah, that's it. Exactly. Yeah. No. that is done. really good the idea is is you want to all your counting and all your playing should all be on the metronome oh so, right so, so like one two three four exactly one, two, you can stop four, counting once you start playing keep going or what well yeah so again just to kind of summarize um you're counting the idea of counting is just to kind of like match match the speed of the click of the metronome with your mind and then right on the next one you would start playing the banjo with the metronome and you can stop counting at that point because it almost so, might get a little too confusing so, so matt what happens if i go like this like faster? Yeah. You would you would obviously be counting faster too because you're matching your your counting. So you're going to probably so for a, for a guy like me, do I stay at slow? Do I move? Do I keep changing speeds? Try and get faster? It's good to try some different speeds, but I mean we're not after speed; we're after accuracy. So if it starts getting too tricky, then you're you're going too fast. Oh, okay. So but, I mean, if you never if you never move fast, you're still you're still, you, you can't get in the race if you're still, you can't run if you can't walk, right? I mean, you can't, yeah, is that sort of the analogy? 
but you can't, you don't have to stay, stay walking. You have to learn how to run. Uh, well, yeah, eventually. Yeah. Running is going to come. It just let's really learn how to walk. Like let's have good technique with walking. So we don't oh. pull a muscle. Oh. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay right i mean if you start if it's like hey okay frank uh you I know, gotta, oh there you go damn i ran too fast i wouldn't even warm up i was too i got ahead of myself i got you yeah right so if i said hey let's play at 160 you'd be like uh it'd be like oh there's too much going on this is too nuts you know it's yeah. like no okay okay it. all right okay. yeah we're not yeah, we're not training for like a hundred meter dash, man. We're training okay. for like marathons. <laughs> okay, all right, right. So, yeah, and it's always about comfort comfort zone with the the metronome. So forty four, you know, maybe next week uh, we get to forty six or forty eight. Even I mean, it's it is what it is. But so every yeah. every day I should be doing the same thing as far as practice relative. Uh, to a degree, that's my, right? that's my thing. I don't, I don't have my, I sort of pick up, I do this, I do that, and then I stay away. From, so I should be doing every day if I do an hour a day, just maybe it's 10 minutes here, to, but I should be doing exactly what we're doing here warm up with the scales. But should I do the metronome first? I do warm up with the scales without the metronome or then the metronome. And that's where I want to get my, so I'm not just fooling around and just playing and not what I'm doing. Exactly. Right. We want like routine. We want like a regimen, uh, like okay, a structured so kind of practice. Structured thing would be what exactly? What would be? Well, the more, here's the, the I kind of go by uh, what you're telling me. So like, if you're saying that you're not, you're not enemies with the metronome anymore. Yeah. I'm not then, friends, but I'm not enemies. Right. So then that means let's let's incorporate the metronome a little more. OK. But right. the, metronome, the metronome should be definitely on the scales. Yes. The metronome ideally should be like everything. Everything. Um, until a point where you have such command over over rhythm and metronome, then then you can almost come off of it any time and you're you're still in an exact rhythm. I got it. I got it. That's, OK. 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 That's the idea with the metronome. It's just, it's being true to your own rhythm. You're, you know. Okay, okay. So every day I should do the scales, even though I think I know them. It's like, oh, I'm gonna, you have to keep doing it. You have to keep doing them all the time. Yeah. And again, your weakness is not, uh, I mean, your strengths is like your fingering, your picking. I mean, doing the two, you're, you're fine, like playing the scales on their own, but your weakness is just the rhythm as we've discussed before. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's just okay. timing, like staying and in time. Now the idea is this is all new to me, of not looking, not looking at your fingers. Right. And again, that's get back to that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, okay. So that's, this is the hard part. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of throwing some of the harder stuff at you. So that you can learn to again trust your fingers and have all right, okay, yeah, have um faith in in your fingers and what they're doing, not having to like uh, second guess your fingers. Okay, 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 all right, okay. Yeah, just you know, I, I mean the, the the you know one of the the goals is to just one day you know you're like you pick up the the banjo and you're like hey you know what I don't want to I just want to play a song right away and then you're playing the song and you're like wow this just came out great. Yeah. Instead of just, oh, damn, I missed that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, exactly, too. So here's something, too, man. When, you're, uh, when, you, when you play notes and you're, you're, you're kind of struggling there, you show it in your face. You kind of wince. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so have fun with body it. Body language. I, I, I'm... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, ha have fun with it, man. It's, uh, yeah, we're here to have fun. If you make a mistake. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, who cares? Mistakes, sad. Yeah, oh no, it doesn't help. matter. I mean, like, okay. I'm not in bad. Someone called and I, a friend got on the a mutual friend, and I said, oh, "I got to go to my banjo list." Like, ah, you're, you're almost 79, bro. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought he didn't say it that way. It's like, mm. oh no, my brother called me. He thought it was Saturday. He's off, you know. But oh, Saturday, no, it isn't, Dick. I got my band. What are you doing banjo lessons for? You're too old. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. Oh, okay, what well, better than sitting my ass doing nothing like you? Anyway, ah. 
Ah, there you go. That's a spirit. I didn't say that. <laughs> you wanted to, though. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, why do some people play golf and they can't even get their great par? I, just, I know. They keep doing it, right? Exactly. Yeah, you got to go to the driving range, right? It's an avocation. It's not, you're not doing it. Yeah, okay. You get me. You get it. Exactly. It's like, yeah. right. So if we relate this to golf, right, it's like, it's like going to a course all the time and just sucking really bad. But like what we're doing here is like actually going to the driving range in between, uh, you know, during the week and working on our, our, all of our right. irons and our, our wedges and our drivers yeah, yeah. and Good. our putting our short game, our long game. Our are, you, are you a golfer? I, I used to golf, you know, in a league back in the day. I was never that good, but uh, it's the fun. I got the golf was caddying at Marion Golf Course. You know where Marion is? No, I don't. It's in Philly. It's the only golf course in the U.S. Open. The U.S. Open changes course that the oh. pros have never broken par. Really? Marion Golf Course in Philadelphia. Marion. It's one of the oldest golf courses in the country. Oh, wow. Yeah. They've never broken par on Marion Golf Course. So, wow, uh, through like four rounds, they, they just, they're above par. Is that what yeah. you're saying? <laughs> and, you know, they break par in all these courses. Yeah. Wow. It's that tough of a course, huh? Yeah, it's that tough of a course. Yeah. Wow. So the Sunday round must be like exhilaratingly hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, on that, I see, I digress. I take this off so I can use my time talking. <laughs> 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 oh, we only got 28 more minutes. Uh, I gotta keep going. Uh, okay, go, keep going. I mean, I guess the, the moral of the story is is that uh when we're playing an instrument, it's kind of like a lot of other things in life. We just gotta, you know, we're talking about driving, you know. But when we learn how to drive, we had to take things slow so we're not like right, yeah, 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 yeah. So get it, like learning stick shift, you know, it's tough. Exactly. The old days, not now, but the old days where you're clutch. Damn, you're gonna ruin the clutch, you know. Can only hit that thing so many times where the clutch burns out in those old cars. Anyway, okay, we're good. <laughs> Keep moving. All right, cool. So, um, yeah, you know what to do. And again, I'm notating this in our notes, the email I send you every week, right, of course. Okay, right. A lot of times I'll bold face and capitalize some of the stuff, like the current stuff that we're talking about now in the lesson, like like counting one, two, three, four into the me with the metronome into the scale, right? Okay um descending more with the scale going backwards through it okay not uh not forgetting these open strings i think that's what happens is, is we're so focused on the fretted notes that we forget about the open strings sometimes yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. that's cool let's get to our uh beginner's book my love is in america okay i'm right there look at that you're prepared i gotta get my act together here now do i get the metronome going here or what um, let's do a playthrough without it first. I kind of like just to kind of warm ourselves up. Maybe it's good to do a rough, rough playthrough without the metronome since it's not truly our friend yet. Yeah. All right. So, so what am I doing? Playing, trying, trying to get through this? Yeah, we were talking about the first um, three lines, if not the whole song. I got it. Oh, okay. Oh no, more. So see, see that that my fingers. Okay. That's the problem. I gotta make sure my fingers are in the right place. Because once you start wrong, you stay wrong. Right. And it was your third fret. Right. I, I knew I was off right away. Right. Not, on, on those fifth frets, you were using your you were, you were reaching for the fourth fret instead of the fifth fret. Yeah, yeah. I left my glasses in the other one. Do you want to go run and get them really? No, 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 no. Okay. Just stand. Just closer. All right, start again. Oh, 
me start again. I had this down, now I can't. That's all right. Did you just get a phone call? Because I got a phone call at the exact same time. That 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 that's a, a one of the scams. That, yeah. Wow, we got scammed at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Um. Hey, really quick. Um. So what's happening is I see your hands creeping up a little bit this way. So mm -hmm. just be, maybe back it up a little bit, and uh, I think you'll be landing these notes good on this playthrough. Yeah. There you go. Uh, third finger, third finger. Oh, there you go. Okay, let me start. Again. Sure, sure. Okay, um, there was quite a few missed notes. However, you, you're you trying very hard not to look at your banjo and that's huge. Yeah, I'm trying not to. Yeah, I know, it's really tough, right? When you miss notes, it's like- Well, I'm man. trying to play through the, I'm keeping going though. Right. Stopping. Exactly. I do yeah. notice that when you do make a mistake, you do look at your banjo still. Yeah, I do a little. Yeah, that's tough, right? I mean, it's like- <laughs> And, and, and then, then the other problem is, there's no timing. I'm just, there's, there's no, there's no beat. There's no nothing. Right. Right. No timing to it. Right. So I'm now, not... yeah. Now that we've done a rough uh, playthrough, why don't we get the metronome in, uh, in on it? Okay. The metronome should be what the timing of the song. Well, 
No, because I think it's a tune. This, is a tune. this isn't a talk song. This is a tune because it has no. It's not a song because there's no words. So it's a tune in the Irish. Thing, you know, in the, the Irish, right, right. If yeah, um, yeah. but if Danny we tried, song, Danny Boy's a song. This is a tune. There you go. If if we tried playing this the exact speed as like other people's play it, it would it would be too fast. So yeah, we're just okay. trying to play it at a comfortable speed for us. You know. Okay. What I mean? Okay. There's plenty of um, there's plenty of musicians out there that will do like covers of old songs, and they'll play it at their own speed. They they won't even play it at the original speed of like how it was. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. So the, there's nothing saying that you know we have to ex play it exactly how. So do you want it? Do you want the metronome at the same four? It's forty five right now. Yeah, unless you want to try it a little faster, even or a little yeah, slower. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and the idea is is. Um, you know, I mean, do you feel up for playing line by line or, or the whole song with the metronome? Or maybe maybe we try a, like one measure a few times before we go and try the next measure with the metronome. There's a, there's a, a couple different approaches we can have. Let's do a line. Okay. So let's go for the first line. Yeah. Okay, now I'm. Uh, so when do I start? Uh, okay, I'm gonna get the first note right. One, two, three, good. Four. Jeez, I can't look at the thing. I'm gonna start again. Keep going. Right. So that was good. And I, we see a difference, right? When you're playing without the metronome, you have a little more confidence, but with the metronome, right? It's like, it's not our friend yet. Yeah. Right. Um, why don't we try this? Let's just try the first measure of the whole song. All right, okay. All right. First measure. Yeah. Don't even think about any of the other measures. So when you get to the end of the first measure, let's stop. Oh, and I was on the wrong thing to begin with. Let me start again. So I'm on the wrong thing to begin with. One, two, three, four. Yeah, uh, that's a, your right hand. Your right hand's uh, not cooperating. All right. Your left hand was good. Your right hand, you were just off one string. We start again. Yeah, sure. So I start on the, I count and then start. That's what I should do? Yeah, one, yeah. Two, as much as you can do that. And if you want to like, if you want to, instead of going one, two, three, four, you could just go like three, four, and then start. You know what I mean? If you want right. to save some time. Yeah. Right. Three, four. Nice. Yeah, so let's stop. That was good. good. Right. I mean, that felt good. That was like the best yeah. of that measure you can do. Let's try the next measure now. Let's just do the second measure alone with the metronome, counting to four again. One, two, three, four. Jeez, I can't do it. Man. Yeah, try that second measure again. One, two. Right. 
Nice. Let's try that. That was awesome, man. Let's try the third measure now. Counting to four. Yeah. That was still better than the first playthrough. Try it again. Third measure. Third measure. Ready? Three, four. Three, four. Uh, no. That was still better. That was still better. It was just that one note that hung you up at the end of it. Right? Yeah, I played it twice. Yeah. Try try that one more time. Same measure. Well, yeah, I'd say let's go to the fourth measure now. That's fine. If after like three or four playthroughs of one measure, let's feel free to go move forward, you know. Make sure you're on the right fret, though. Uh, fourth measure, fifth fret. There you go. Yeah, that was good. One more time. You had the notes right. I think just follow the metronome a little bit uh, more precise. Okay, so I think you you knew you were rushing the metronome at like the end of it, right? Yeah. Yeah, you could tell. So that that shows me right there that you're getting more in tuned with the metronome. The metronome is slowly becoming our friend. Okay. Right? We got to wine and dine the metronome once in a while. We can't okay. just sit around and, you know, we can't sit on the couch and put our arm around it all the time. I, have, gotta... to keep, I have to keep up more with the metronome for the next week. Yeah. Right? absolutely I'm trying, let me get this i'm trying to get rhythm is my goal for this this section this part of our our tutoring or is rhythm exactly I mean, I'm trying to do everything but if i don't have rhythm you don't have any you can't if you if you're just hitting notes without any rhythm you're is that what am i saying here that's exactly it you're i'm entrusting you to to Make sure that we're following the, the, the best process so that okay. so on that my now, own, I, I, on my own, I could sit here for years hitting notes without any rhythm. I'm never learning it. I'm not playing it. I'm not getting anywhere. Exactly. Right? Exactly. That's what I've been doing. I've been just playing by myself and trying to hit some notes, but I have no rhythm. I don't know what I'm doing. So finally I got I met this guy in line. <laughs> Exactly. No, I mean that's the thing. So it's hard to learn rhythm. It's hard to learn on your own, I, I guess. Absolutely. Yes. I mean, and I, I have watched these tapes and I've watched this, and but I don't have the rhythm. I don't get the rhythm. Without the rhythm, you can't you can't go right. You can't, yeah. yeah, you can't go public. We can't go on tour. Right. right. I can keep playing in the back, thinking I'm learning something, but I'm not. I'm just hitting notes. I'm right. not making, right. I'm not got any rhythm. I'm just hitting notes, and Absolutely. I'm only looking at the notes. So yeah. obviously, if I keep looking at the notes, I'm hitting the notes. And to be honest, Frank, a lot of a lot of students have rhythmic 
um, challenges. It's including myself, man. There's times where I can't stay on rhythm. I mean, you know, let's let's be honest. When we're listening to music, you know, we're hearing the finished product, the uh, polished product. We're not hearing all the freaking mistakes and and rhythmic errors and oh, all see. this other stuff, right? Yeah. Every time, yeah. When we're hearing this stuff, we're hearing the multitudes of of practice and practice and 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 all kinds of stuff going into that, right? Yeah. So that's that's a, your chosen professionist. <laughs> Watch, listen to the discords all day. You probably have some really good students. You have some listening to some good music, but you have I I imagine you have a few like myself. Oh God, here we go. <laughs> no, it's not like that. So, I mean, all my students, the idea is to challenge my students so that we can exploit that stuff and get it out into the open and say, hey, let's work on this. This is awesome. Because okay. okay. if, okay. if we keep if we keep working on the stuff that you're really good at, then we're not getting anywhere. I got you. I got you. Got you. you know See, I, mean? I recognize this. I recognize this. So, so I have to work on the metro and work on the beats. And yeah, OK, because I think I oh, I, I think I know this. And then uh, yeah okay right i mean you know i'm sure there's there's some teachers out there that just you know they'll be they'll just sit back and say hey, i'll read the paper while this guy keeps just eh, who cares about his metronome and we'll just keep uh you know i'm not gonna i'm getting paid you know it's, yeah. but no well, it's okay. like yeah you know let's learn how to do everything so that at the end of the day like months from now you go to play danny boy and you play it and you're like, oh, wow, that felt awesome. Yeah, right? okay, okay. Rather than rather than months down the road, you playing Danny Boy and be like, wow, I haven't gotten anywhere. This Danny Boy still sounds the exact same, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I've been doing. Right. Yeah, so we... Well, that, that happened when we had the thing. I thought I knew all the notes, Danny Boy. And then we went and tried. I couldn't, I couldn't. I, all I knew I could hit a few. Then once I hit the wrong note, but I had no rhythm. I had no. Maggie was playing like a, when we had Danny's thing. We tried to do that thing. I, I we I tried to play with her. She had to, I couldn't keep up. I was, I, but on my own I could just hit a few, hit the notes right, but I couldn't have any sure. rhythm. But I think yeah, when you did that years ago, you they, they probably wanted you to keep timing, and it was just really hard to do that because you had never just. And then I lost everything. Then I couldn't do anything. I couldn't hit. It's like I got nervous. You can't even hit the note. It's like, yeah, you can't even hit the first note, second note. You're like, oh, right, yeah. But now it's like you look back on it. You like now you understand. Wow, now now yeah. you're starting to understand the idea of wow timing. Timing is like super important. So when that guy did it, he said, oh, well, let's get you, you hit about five notes here. We'll use that as the entrance and then we'll, you're off into the wings. And that's how we made that recording. There yeah. you go. Yeah, so you I just, just. I just played a few notes and then he used those. And so it's Frank and Maggie doing Danny Boy. I was exactly. just doing a little bit of notes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So you're getting, you're getting the idea. Did you see what we did with this piece? My love is in America is that. I had you play it all the way through, and then we just started isolating each measure. Uh -huh. Right. So that's really important too. And I do that all the time. Is like instead of looking at the piece as a whole, I look at each measure as an individual. Oh, here, piece. here's the on that on that. So as far as the practice, mm -hmm. um, when if I spend an hour, okay, how much should I? How much should I practice? At least you're just to be a true to my my teacher here what what should every day i practice i start out doing scales what do i do i start so i'm well tune up right tuning takes a, a yeah, minute or yeah, two right yeah. that's that's a given yeah and then um scales yeah run through your scales maybe 15 20 minutes okay because that's then, like, oh i know the scale but keep doing them and doing them with the metronome or not Yes, as much as you can with the metronome. And at different speeds? Uh, yes, but if, if it starts getting too dodgy, then, then you're going too fast, always. But should I start slower and try to work up to like, right now I'm at uh, 45, should I then go to? Yeah, you know, maybe 60 if you can handle it. I know you can play them. I know you can play them relatively faster, but it's just matching okay. the metronome playing okay. it fast. You know All what right. I mean? 
Yeah. Um, playing them in reverse. Okay, all right. And then the next one, next thing. Um, and then going to our My Love is in America, obviously we're gonna be adding more songs eventually. But uh, yeah, working on My Love is in America and Get not to where I could play that at what, what metronome? I'd say anywhere between 45 and 60 is, is good with the metronome. And then eventually we get to where it's slow. And then is the goal to get to where I could really play that one on the right speed? Well, the goal is to let's just, let's try to get through it with, with a slow metronome speed. Okay. All the notes, and then let's move on to the next song because we can always come back to songs, right? Okay, 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 okay. And then what's the next thing I should be doing? Or is that it? That's um, as far as that, well, that's like what another 20, 30 minutes of just my okay. love is in America. Okay. And then um and then pick up uh, one of your songs that you, you want to have fun with that well, sometimes I do, I do Danny Boy, because that's it, that's it, that's one. And then I've got um second one is we all need more kindness. And yeah, and try them. Try them with metronomes, or, with or if you want to have fun, if you're like you know I've had much I have too much fun with these metronomes with everything else I just want to play, then just play you know have fun. Okay, all right. It's like it's like all this other scales in the in the book. It's all the warm up, and it's like wow, it it's 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 meant to dial you in so that when you have fun with the stuff that you really want to play, then it's it it, it almost feels effortless. Like Danny Danny Boy should feel effortless. Eventually, okay. that's what we're trying to get at. With a rhythm, Danny Boy with, with the right rhythm. With rhythm, correct. Yeah, right now, with rhythm. Well, the other ones too, because right now I have no rhythm. No, you do have rhythm. It's just it's, it's in the back room somewhere. <laughs> it's 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 in you. It's just matching matching it from outside of you. That's that's what we're working on. Okay. Okay. Like you have, yeah. There's, I mean, there's students I've had where their internal rhythm is is really bad. So you have good internal rhythm. It's just we have to work on the external okay, okay, you okay. listening to it. Like yeah. I said, there's students I've had where their internal rhythm's bad and their external is bad too. So we have to we just yeah, have okay. to work on the whole shebang. Right. So I mean you're like halfway there basically. Okay, More okay. than halfway there at this point. All right. Okay. And a good speed for any metronome stuff, I think, is between 40 and 60. 40 and 60. Whether it's scales or songs. Okay, so we're, we're, we're on for next week. Next week starts the new five. Exactly. Right? And then I may have to take a week. I may have to skip a week. Uh, yeah, just keep me posted and we'll figure yeah, that yeah, out. Yeah. We may have to go a couple of, every two weeks for just a couple. And then my, I, 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 I'm, I'm committed to five and I'm most probably will do at least five more. Uh, yeah, five, five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. Are you, and you're getting these emails I send you because I'm sending one oh, off right uh -huh. now. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. So it's good. You got that written down there. Um, yeah, and then I'll send, uh, I'll upload this to YouTube and send you the link with that too. Okay. All right. All right, Frank. Good job today, man. I, I appreciate your uh, your patience. Well, yeah. It goes both ways. Hey, you bet, man. I'm, I'm, I'm part of your team, man. So Thank go team. You. <laughs> okay, thanks. Thanks, man. Have a good week. You too, man. Bye-bye.